Fire detector light. Test. Caution warning lights. Test and reset. By the way, congratulations. Have you thought of a name for your kid? Well, we're still fighting. I'm holding out for Joe DiMaggio Mazzilli. <laughs> the greatest Yankee that ever lived. Mm. Hydraulic control switch? On. What's up, guys? Here comes Colonel Braddock. So why would Colonel want to go to Cambodia? Yeah, he could get hurt going across the fence. He's meeting a recon unit, checking enemy strength. Clear? Clear left, sir. Let her rip. Main generator switch. On. Burn switch. Spear. Governor RPM. English. Morning, sir. Morning, Sergeant. Sergeant Blake. Would you like to take the control, sir? No, thanks, Captain. Just along for the ride.
America remembers its war dead, a special salute today to the war dead of Vietnam. An American serviceman who died there took his place today in a place of honor, the tomb of the unknown soldier. Almost 10 years after the last Americans left Saigon, the men who fought in Vietnam got their parade. Muffled drums and dirges, a coffin and a flag wrapped in plastic to protect it from the rain. In the amphitheater of Arlington Cemetery, families of the men still missing from Vietnam waited for the coffin and remembered. They wonder if their sons are still alive and why the world sits back and allows the Vietnamese government to flagrantly violate the Geneva Convention. Rumors of physical and mental torture have made the wait more agonizing. The families were reassured by a deeply moved president. We write no last chapters. We close no books. We put away no final memories. An end to America's involvement in Vietnam cannot come before we have achieved the fullest possible accounting of those missing in action. Colonel Ian, you may not give a damn about the Geneva Convention, but someday you're going to be held accountable. The Geneva Convention applies to prisoners of war. You men are not prisoners of war. You are common criminals. I have repeatedly told you that there is no escape from my camp unless you consider death an escape. You are surrounded by cliffs, mountains, jungles full of man traps, and a bridge that is impassable. None of you have ever escaped, and none of you will. The only way for you to leave my camp is if Bredak confesses. He defends the country that has forgotten you, an outlaw nation the rest of the world reviles! They are killing your ambassadors of the evil in every part of the world. I have something for you. Hey, it's a beaut. It's a good two inches. Angelo says thanks. What'd he give you? A B-52. Oh! It's just a worm for his chicken. Daddy? You know, I gotta learn to keep my mouth shut. What do you do? You never shoot your mouth off. I try to decide if what I'm going to say is worth getting hit for. Yeah. I wish I could do that. Very quick. It's hot. I'm sweating. Looks like the malaria again. Hey! Hey! What the hell's Harry doing? I bite his head off. Pack of cigarettes.
Colonel Braddock, I need to talk to you. Colonel. Colonel. Look, I'm real sorry those two guys died, but we don't all have to. Maybe I can get you in not to ride you so hard. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Braddock? How about it, Sarge, huh? I mean, you know you could use some time off. Begging the captain's pardon, sir. But kiss my black ass. <laughs> That's funny. All you guys are big, brave soldiers, and you think I'm a coward. No, you're not a coward. You're a traitor. I'm not a traitor. Look, our country has forgotten about us, and we have to do anything we can to survive. Look, I'm not the bad guy here. It's Braddock and his stupid pride. When we first got here, there were five times as many of us. 33 Americans. Now look at us. I say that all Braddock has to do is confess to some garbage war crime and Yin will send us home. Who's gonna care? The war has been over for... for God knows how long. We don't know that for sure. There is no war. And nobody gives a damn about us. Oh, yeah? Well, I hear they're coming to get us. And if I were you, I'd rather die here than have to explain to my kid that I was a gutless traitor. At least I've seen my kid. Let him go. Back off, mister. Die if you want. All of you. Who tell you someone coming? No one. I made it up to piss him off. Why those guys have to run? God, I gotta get some sleep. But whenever I close my eyes, I see my wife, Gina. Yeah, my Diane's gonna be mad at me. I want the four kids more than she did. We made a deal. She'd work and I'd retire and bring them up. Pull the hell out of her. I haven't even seen my kid! I'm sorry. I try to block it out, but I can't. No one can. You do. Nothing bothers you. I'm just a... I'm just not tough like you. Sergeant Lawrence Opelka, you have been tried and found guilty of war crimes against the people of Vietnam and have been sentenced to death.
Brought you some things. Did you get the quinine? No, I can't. Yen has it locked up. But he told me to tell you that if Braddock confesses, he will give it to you. Yen can't be trusted. I've given him what he wanted, and he's treated me well enough. <laughs> he doesn't care about you. It's Braddock's confession he's always wanted. Over the years, it's driven him mad then why not just give it to him? If Yin ever breaks Braddock, we will all be killed. Colonel Braddock, I have spoken to my superiors and arranged for you to be released. If you will simply let us film your confession just once. No public appearances, no questions. We could do it right now. No, I can't do that. Some of my men feel I'm being too lenient with you. Colonel Braddock, I didn't want to have to tell you this, but maybe you should know. Your wife is planning to remarry. She has you declared dead. Your family needs you. Sign this statement, and I will let you go home before the wedding. Colonel Yen, if my wife is getting remarried, I'm happy for her. Because if she's going to wait for me to sign this confession, she's going to be waiting a long time. Get him out of here. Since you're in a fighting mood, I'll give you one. Nestor, you will be Braddock's opponent, and you will win. I can't do that, sir. Well, Colonel Yin, our deal was that I would never have to hurt any of the other prisoners. Fine. Don't fight. I will put you back in the American cell. I'm not sure you would be as popular there as you once were.
Just take a few crunches and go down, Colonel. It'll save us both a lot of pain. Put your hands up, Braddock. Put your hands up, Braddock. Colonel Yen is watching us. Put your hands up. Master, he's using you. <laughs> when one does not follow my direction immediately. You lose. Colonel? What'd you lay on you this time? He said that my wife's getting remarried. I've been declared dead. He's bullshitting you. You know that, don't you? Captain Ho? Anything on the quinine? I don't have malaria. Nothing. But I have some things for you. Surprise for you. See this baby, huh? Look at that. Hey, Lieutenant. Have a sip. This is what you want. Thanks, Captain. Thank you. 
I need to talk to you. I'm the officer in charge. If you have to punish somebody, then punish me. You're right. You are responsible. Hey! Come on, Frank, brother. Here, I'll help you. American. Look out! Neo! Neo!
Hope I didn't scare you guys. How do you like my new helicopter? You are a day early. I had to borrow it. The other was too small. I've brought you an arsenal that will discourage anyone from cutting into our opium business. Now all that can harm us are your American friends. Why are they still alive? Francois, I have the situation under control. Huh. Thanks for our treat. You're a hot little devil. You know, this time, they're all virgins. <laughs> Come on, girls. Colonel, I don't think there is a search team. There's nothing we can do about it now. At least we know what they're putting in that hut. Those boxes? They're full of weapons. And that's our way out. When do you aim to kill the Americans? In my own time. You're risking our entire operation, a very profitable operation. I'm thinking of getting a new watch. Do you think you can purchase one of those digital models? I told you to kill the Americans, God damn it! If the POW search team hears about it, we're finished. Don't let your stupid ego ruin everything! <laughs> Francois, would you come with me for a moment? Look, I didn't want to. Uh, 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 I will never again speak to me like that in front of my men. It's such a dangerous example. Do you understand me? Good. Now, do you have any new information about the American search team? <clears throat> no. It's the rumors. But there's been a guy hanging around asking questions. Pelk is dead. No. If he were, Colonel Ian would stick his body right in front of our faces. No, my friend. Can I convince you to spend the night with us and the Virgin? Sorry, I, I better not. Understand, I'm delivering the opium personally, but I will be back to pick up the girls. Don't forget my watch. Francois brought me something today that I'm sure is of great interest to you. It seems your ex-wife has finally written you a letter. Unfortunately, you must be punished for the instant with your late friend, Opelka. He's dead. Oh, 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 oh,
Trông hết xài á Ây da đi Không đi làm I've uh, been looking for you. That time you showed up. Your headquarters. You take me to your headquarters. The name's Emerson. Clive Emerson. No, you don't understand. Now, what is needed here is a little courtesy and cooperation. I'm the point man for a POW search mission. The IFH got word of this uh, little operation some time ago. Must say, we've had a devil of a time finding you. Who's we? Ah, yes. The International Freedom House. I'm not just running around the jungle looking for publicity. He lie. It's not a lie. I'm part of a major operation. There are nine other scouts like me. We each have five square miles to cover. And all of us call in to Central Team regularly. Now, if you think that's a lie, you are in a pack of trouble. Why don't you cooperate and save yourself a lot of needless bloodshed? What the hell's going on? Time to find out. Do you really expect me to believe you and turn over my whole camp? Well, under the circumstances, yes, I believe that's the only thing that you could do. I hid a homing device out there in the jungle. My team know exactly where I am. Now, they'll be waiting for my signal. Now, if I give it, they'll come in slowly. If I don't, they'll come in fast and you'll all be dead. What signal? Stop playing the fool. The way I figure it, these are your choices. You can either cut and run, or you can wait until my team come in, and then you can try to run. Or you can cooperate right now and save everyone a whole lot of trouble. I believe you left out some of my options. One, I could kill you. And the prisoners. Yes, missed that one. And two, I can simply lock you up and wait until you're ready to give the signal. Yes, you could lock me up. I'll never give you the signal. I don't care if you kill me. Now, look, I'm tired of hanging around under the sun playing footsie with a half pint would be dictator. series last year. I don't know anything about any bloody World Series, mate. I'm an Australian. Forget it. I love you anyway. Yin won't give up this easy. How large is your rescue team? Large enough to kick Yin's ass, huh? I'm alone. the International Freedom House. The central team, the homing device. Just a bluff, isn't it? I had to tell him something. Heard rumors about this place. I followed Francois in. I'm just a lousy photographer, mate. I needed pictures for proof. Damn! One thing for sure. He's got guts. 
Yeah. Nobody ever broke into a prison camp. All right, then let's get out. Yeah, we'll head for the cliffs. Anything happens to me, I stash some ropes under a big rock. You can't miss it. Head for the tide board, 100 miles due west. Come on, let's go. Wait. Yin may let you go, but he certainly won't let us all go. What's that? It's Francois coming to pick up his horse. He knows I'm allowed. Well, move it. I'm just going to give the signal, mate. They don't love you, but all in all, they look pretty good. I'll be right back. One more moment, please. I would like you to meet a friend of mine. I'll meet him later. I'm in a bit of a hurry. I, I, I wouldn't want the central team to get impatient, no? Francois, you met my friend. You look a little nervous. He is the goddamn guy who's been asking questions about us. He claims he's the point man for a major rescue operation. He's lying. He's alone. I've still got the homing device out in the jungle. I'm weary of playing footsie with you. Take him to the tree. against the people of Vietnam. I sentence you to death. Don't worry! It's not real! He's just trying to scare you! We've got a lousy sense of humor! Get him up. Okay, you're gonna be okay. I'm okay. Captain Ho? dying. Our struggle was a long one. As I predicted, you lost. I'm glad you finally understand the extent of your guilt. You do, don't you? They don't understand shit. Yes, Colonel Yen. I understand. Now, 
are my American POW. I will live up to my promise and will let you go free. Tomorrow, Francois will be here and will fly you to Thailand and deliver you to your embassy. See, Colonel, I told you. I will try to make your last day here as comfortable as possible. Here, come into the next room. You will stay there tonight. I'm afraid I gave poor Franklin such an overdose of opium that he could walk from here to Los Angeles and would not do him any good. No! Throw him in the hole. Son of a bitch.
I thought you should know that you're completely alone. Your brave colonel has abandoned you to die here. Braddock got away? He'll die tomorrow. So will you. In the meantime, if you're lonely, play with your friend. Keep him alive. Now, you know, I might be wrong, but I don't think it's a very good idea to kill me. Why not? I could always get someone to pour my wine. It's because I'm the only one left who really knows how Colonel Braddock thinks. See, he hasn't gone yet. Is that so? Yes. He has stayed to try and take revenge on you. I will use Francois' helicopter. We will capture him tomorrow. We 
Find that rope. They're getting too close. Let's get out of here. It's gotta be here. Harrison said they were under a big rock. There must be 60 big rocks. Here it is. Aren't you coming? I'm going after home. If you're staying to fight, there's no way I'm leaving you. Here they come. Get your ass down the cliff.
Come in. So, ye, we're all loaded up. I'll see you in about a week. Francois, I will need your helicopter to look for the Americans. I believe they've gone down the river. I am sorry, I can't help you. You will not go. I am going. Come on, let's go. Get your hands up. What the hell are you doing? They're following my order. They needed a new leader after they heard that you had died. You made it, kid. Thanks, Colonel. Ian must have given up on me. I thought you were dead. How come you hung around? I don't know. I guess it was just some kind of instinct. I want you to guard the base. If I'm not back in 24 hours, go down the river and try to find Mazzilli. Colonel. I know you don't need me to guard the base. I want to help you get those bastards.
Chow. He's listening. He knows we're here. to decide whether you want Mazzilli to live or die. Anything you want me to tell your kid? Hold it! Mazzilli is mine. Why don't we just tell the kid that Daddy was a very brave soldier? Right up to the very end. Did. 
Nobody could live through this. Colonel. Have you ever had to fly this thing? You really didn't think I'd leave without knowing for sure you were dead. You'll not just kill me. You want to know who the better man is. That is why you stayed behind. I also want to know. That is why I kept you alive all these years. Now it is the time. You and I, one on one, no politics, no weapons. Just a little game to find out who is the better man. I knew you could not resist my challenge. Colonel Yen, for the atrocities inflicted on the Vietnamese and American prisoners of this camp, I sentence you to death.
This is for me. 